Hello YouTube, this is another video. Not going to be a mail on the tour of ours, so again, I'm making another video on the Lynx's making on the Lynx's water, and the video could be on the Lynx's water, including the tour of ours. Save the last time, so here's the Lynx's water. It's a wireless G warband. Router with speed booster. See, this is a very nice router. There's a Cisco logo. Here's all the indicator lights. The back of it, the power port, all the Ethernet ports, and there's the port where you connect your internet to. See, those are big antennas. So. I have a difference between a separate modem, separate router, and, and a built in router. As you can see there, this one right here is a 2-wire AT&T 2-wire router. And at and I used to give it to you when you get at and DSL, so that's a good thing because if you don't have a wireless router already, you don't have to go buy one because this one will do it for you. Sometimes with this, the signal is not too good, so it's better to use a separate router. Here it says you connect router to router. That's not always work. In order for you to do that, you have to. Go into the go into the two wire settings and and enable the enable the option for using router behind router. So it will be able to detect the router. And that, now the difference between these two wires is the Linksys have has antennas and the two wire doesn't have antennas. I've seen the twire that I know is certain times because the antennas are built in. So it's pretty much the main difference is. So this I think this wire is she has two antennas, like many wires do. Guess I have another wire right here. See and it's a balcon. And that's why it's a little crappy. So my main focus when that's on the Lynx's water. The Lynx's water, the Lynx's mix the best wireless in the world. And almost everybody has one Lynx's water. It's time for a fence from the balcony or a neck gear. Zinxes are the are the best. See this one is it is a wireless G router. So we'll work with any laptop that has the support wireless G. Pretty much like a Mac will support that. Including a very good Windows laptop. I wanna stand up stand the wire up so So it's both wires in front. So I'm assigning from the back. Let's put it like this. See, you almost had a similar output, but with the thing is, doesn't have the phone cord because it's not actually a doesn't actually have a built-in modem, unlike the two wire. Anybody who who has a wireless mono combo, it's better to use a second wireless so you have better signal strength. You have better connection with around your house. I think this works but not too good. 
And this is why it looks a lot better than in a better one inside the toy model. There's also some other company that offer you a wireless wire, like SentryLink. I think of one hour servers, Windstream, all that. All of the SL parts provide a, wi a wireless router. So this one, this is an ATT wireless router. That's mono combo. So that's what one for Sentry Link will look different, and also for Space Train look different. Now, Space Train is one for Sentry Link. That was also, this also had their own internet. They also offer DSL also. I guess they had DSL on what AT&T. I said this is not an actual model I'm using a newer one. It's, it's a lot larger. It's that one up there. See it says at and it is a U-verse or someone. That's better. I think this one is way better than that one. Because it's, it's a lot smaller. And it takes less space than, that, than those other ones. Yes, and the older has better it has better, better configuration pace. Okay, so this is what's my video on. I don't know, yeah, I will. Now there's now more I want to include in the video. See, get more red models. Okay. So I want to make a video on the more one and the top Let's check this out. So right here I have more DSL models. This one is an AT&T Bell Cell DSL model. This is not a router, this is only a model. And this one is a speed stream, Siemens speed stream DSL model. This one right here is a zone DSL model. All these are nice models. The only one they're not a viral combination. So if you have any of these, you know, when I have wireless, you gotta have a wireless viral, separate one. And this one. So that's how the hook of the wireless router. So, come on here. Well, which one well, am I demonstrate this? And we would this one, this one. Usually, the AT&T one. Oh. Here it's, it's hook up an Ethernet cable to the back of the model. Oh, so it's just right down. So, and the other end, you hook up to your router. Then you take an out Ethernet cable, plug it into the back of your well, then to the back of your computer. <laughs> so that's the way you hook up a wireless router. And it's in this how it should look like. This is how you, you see your newest router will look like. You see we have a modem. And a router. Which was what will give you wireless. I've seen many people who you'll get Uber or CenturyLink. They mostly give you wireless value. It's like that two wire over there. And that one would do the wireless for you. So 
so you will need to use the zip one swirl swirl if you guess you use one with the with the with the other one if you want. I have a better network connection. So anybody who has a twirl I will I recommend them to just use a separate one. Just because most most DSM models as well com combinations don't have a very really good wireless strength. If you add a separate wireless router, a third party wireless router, it will work better. So I'm going to so now I'm in, the, in this video. Get oh. Here I have another one. And this one is a Motorola 2210 DSL model. Of course, this one is exactly the same as all those other ones. Mm -hmm. I think with this one, I'm gonna focus for for this video one. And this video I'm gonna make a bit on this one. You can tell this is a zone DSM one. See what the light indicator is in front of it. It has power, status, activity, then and USB. This one has a USB port on the back of it. And it has two phone jacks. Unlike the all the other ones don't. So this is the this one has a USB port and those other ones don't. So I think that's the nice thing about this one. If you have another computer which doesn't have an Ethernet port, you can connect to the internet by using a USB. Of course, you need a driver for the USB in order for it to work. This is another thing about cool about this one. It has a stand also. So you can to stand it all like this. Because that looks a lot nicer. Yeah, here I have one more model. It's, it's a lot older. It, it is a two wire. It's this one. You can tell it's very really old. It says two wire in the front. It has these holes on the top. Bentays and bends on the bottom. It's the lights and the phone power, broadband link and local network. This one has the lights and the other one because it's a lot older. One thing about this, this one is not a, it's not a router, only a DSM one. So, but there are some like these that, that also have a router built into the muscle. Model of the same type as the built in water. So this one's just a model. Let's see if we get it. So get a two wire. I think we'll put it. I can see the, the, the two wire model as well. It's, it's a little taller than, than the other. Wire model. See, this one says SPC. SPC was a was an internet provider thing. Size, size comparison. Put this one and put this one on top of the two wire. Oh, almost the same size, but but the. Uh, Two wire routers is it's kind of bigger. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed it. Thoughts or, or less. Powerful, look powerful. Peace.
Peace of Bears and subscribe.